Uh, hey guys, what's going on? Uh, welcome to 23.2, and this is the Corsair change. Um, I would like to, um, intro this video with, um, I think that this was a change. I, I, I don't... I feel like this is the unit that they originally wanted to create, and they didn't because there was an oversight where somebody was like, wouldn't that be cool if the bomb, the nasty bombs had percentage damage? And I, um, I know that there, it's been like a, a, like a widely held theory that a lot of the development team has never liked, they've never liked the idea of the nasty bomb being a percentage damage mechanic. And recently, because of, like, whenever you add new things to, to a game, it changes old things. Um, and so, I think Corsair was good before, but then when they added the double bosses and triple bosses, it makes Corsair noticeably weaker, because even if you throw a lot of bombs to kill the first, uh, the first boss, uh, you can't replace them fast enough. Um, even if they're throwing it at their fastest, you can't replace them fast enough to kill the second boss and then the third boss, right? And that was the main, uh, like, downfall of Corsair decks, uh, when they introduced double and triple bosses, but then they introduced Banshee, uh, which had the ability to get rid of, uh, boss abilities, um, and that was the thing that decided, that, or that was the thing that helped it, um, or helped kill, or helped make that deck a deck. Um, a lot of people are asking, uh, every time a new update comes out, um, at, at, like where they buff a card, nerf a card, I remember when they were buffing Blade Dancer, and everybody's question was, oh, is Blade Dancer gonna be meta now? When they nerfed Inquisitor, oh, is Inquisitor gonna be useless now? Is it, is it just unplayable now, right? Because we live in a 0-100 society. Um, everything is either the best or the worst. And, um, here's the thing about Corsair. It is much worse. It is much, much worse. And there's a number of reasons for that. Um, obviously, because it doesn't deal percentage damage anymore, percentage damage and why I felt it was, it is such a, um, it is such an S++ tier ability, um, is because you can have a unit like Corsair that doesn't have talents, and all of a sudden people are like, it doesn't even need talents, it can do quadrillions of damage. Uh, go check Momo Royale, like pre-patch, obviously. Uh, Momo Royale video, uh, he came out with a quadrillion damage, um, Corsair game. And, um, because that's what, that's the amount of damage that it can do. Uh, like in a mirror match um and and when you have percentage damage and you can circumvent having to stack damage um in terms of like floral frenzy blade dancer blooming dash blade dancer inquisitor stacks um riding hood stacks you know what i'm talking about genie stacks um d stacks where it when you get another a uh, new number it gets 0.5 percent it gets 0.2 percent more damage it gets 0.3 percent more damage it gets 10% more damage, it gets 6% more damage, whatever those percentage damage, uh, damages are per stack, um, if you can't grow your damage with the growth of the continually growing monsters, um, then there is a cap on your damage. Um, just to explain this gameplay, if you don't already understand, um, I'm literally just playing Floral Frenzy, uh, Blade Dancer, but with Corsair instead. Um, it's the exact same setup. I'm trying to uh, emulate the exact same setup. And the way that the, uh, Corsair works now, you still need the attack speed because you still want to throw out all the uh, the nasty bombs, which are all the ones that look like actual ball bombs from uh, um, uh, Super Mario Brothers. Um, and then when you activate, uh, when you, uh, like, there's no damage, you can't increase the damage on Corsair anymore. But what you do is you time it to where uh, when you activate it, all of the nasty bombs, specifically the nasty bombs, not all the bombs, but all of the nasty bombs will then rush towards the, the gate and explode even if there is nothing there. So you really have to time it because once you activate it, you lose all of them um, and they all start moving like that. And if you don't time it correctly, as you'll see me do a number of times, um, what ends up happening uh, is uh, if you don't time it correctly, uh, the 
it basically acts as if you de you you aren't doing anything at all. Obviously, it was like like what it was before. Um, and the reason the the thing that this did uh, for Corsair. Um, is that it gives you a way to destroy bosses now because that was its main problem its current new main problem is this dumb ma no mana power up can improve um and I, and I hope that they fix this because this isn't a mana ability it's a functional ability um th this was a problem with spirit master it's specifically why I wanted to showcase this game as opposed to just me playing a game and showing you how this works um this is a current problem in uh, in co-op right now, uh, where the the mana power up block uh, is going to prevent me from killing this this next boss, um, which is going to then spawn a new boss, um, and that is a major problem for uh, for co-op. So if you play co-op right now. I trust that they will fix this in the same way that they fixed Spirit Master, because I remember when the no uh, the no mana power up happened, and Spirit Master was basically unplayable because you would lose all of your your level stacks, and then um, and you would just die to the next boss, and it was dumb. Um, this basically activate acts the same way. Um, if I can't move all of my bombs, this is what happens. Monkey King! And now I have to wait for the Monkey King to go towards my bombs, and that was the main problem of original Corsair. Um, the Corsair mechanic. Uh, if there were double bosses, uh, you could throw enough bombs for the first boss to maybe uh, uh, effectively kill it, but as soon as there was a second boss, you couldn't throw enough nasty bombs. Um, and now, they fixed that mechanic, where you needed a secondary thing, uh, like a banshee to stun the boss ability, um, and instead now all of the bombs now rush towards the gate, um, and that is a very big change. But the obvious change um, came with now it only does regular damage. Um, all of your uh, your nasty bombs give you crit damage. They they always crit. They do a large quantity of damage. Um, like like you saw, um, they all rush towards the front. Um, so if you throw a lot over the course of the match, like right here, um, all of these are building up right now. As soon as I activate all of all all of them rushing to the front, it does so much damage. It does a large quantity of damage. And this is with no, basically no. Um, damage boost other than what I'm using uh, which is the uh, the night statue ability uh, the covenant of veterans um, each merge and increase in merge rank near a statue increases the damage of its neighbors by 0.8 percent up to uh, 50 times and then by 0.2 percent because it is strictly just damage now and you know like even the, the nasty bombs do crit damage but again that's just regular damage the only way to boost uh corsair's effectiveness is by other means um but because corsair doesn't have any talents and it is i i actually looked this up before i started this video because i was curious i was like oh it's like any other dps unit that doesn't have talents every legendary dps unit actually has talents now except Corsair. And because Corsair doesn't have a mechanic that gives it increasing damage um, and gives it stacks, it is going to be strictly worse than basically every other um, DPS unit. Um, that's not to say that it can't be better, but I am stating that it is significantly worse than anything that can't can continuously gain stacks and gain damage over the course of time. If you take a level um, 15 Corsair, right, and you have 6,000 crit, and your opponent is running an Inquisitor that's a level 9, right, yeah, you'll probably win. Like, I'm not saying that it's always better, or it's always worse than everything else. There are other factors. But what I am saying is that when everybody says, um, is this now dead? Um, is this just the worst card? Is this unplayable? It is, but not for the reason why you think. It's dead, or it's not as good as everything else, because in an equivalent playing field, the reason why it's worse is because it can't gain any stacks. Now, another card that is very good, um, 
but also cannot gain any stacks, um, is Tesla. And if Small Shamer uh, watches this video and hears my shout out, he will probably um, uh, write this in the comment section. So check back on this video, and maybe Small Shamer will have uh, addressed my uh, my this question. But I remember him telling me um, a little while ago that one of his clanmates plays Tesla, and Tesla also does not have a inherent mechanic where it grows in stacks. It has no stacking mechanic. Um, it has power mechanics, but it d has no increased damage mechanic. And he said that uh, with max witch stacks, which is 30 stacks of a max level 15 uh, witch, and uh, utilizing uh, 20 Fairy of Rage Dryads, um, if you just ran those two things with four Teslas on a knight statue, um, there is a damage cap. Um, now the the test or the uh, the knight statue has an infinite damage stack, right? Uh, because you're getting 0.8% and then 0.2%, you could stack that infinitely. You could have two billion stacks on your knight statue, but that would be incredibly difficult. Um, and even though, and, and it grows at such a small rate that trying that hard to increase its its stacks, it's just so hard that something with a easier stack mechanic, like a Riding Hood, like a Demon Hunter, like a Genie, the easier the stack mechanic is, the, the, the better that unit is going to perform. Um... When a unit has an inherent stack mechanic themselves, um, that is going to... And, and you can easily activate it. For, for example, if there was a stack mechanic that said once every 5 seconds you get uh, plus 0.5%. Uh, percent. Um, you get a you get a stack you get and it gets 0.5 percent damage right and then there was another unit that said once every one second you get a stack that gives you plus 0.5 uh, plus 0.5 percent damage what which one do you think is going to perform better they're both basically the same 0.5 percent but one stacks one second and one stacks five every five seconds the one that's that's the one second is uh, obviously going to stack faster. So even if the other card has higher base damage, that doesn't even matter because if you can get more stacks more efficiently and better um, and quicker, that is what's going to win. Um, it is so difficult to. Oh, I just yeah, I got the uh, the assassin. Yeah, this this was a fun level because we got uh, no mana power up again. Um, this is the downfall of playing this in co-op, but I think it should be noted that this is a level, I want to say 9, uh, Corsair. I have no investment in Corsair, and I'm taking on, like, floor 13, and I'm doing reasonably well. Um, it's not difficult, uh, as long as you time those bombs and activations, uh, it's not difficult. Um, I think that Corsair has now went, has, has now gone from a unit that we didn't care if it ever got talents to a unit where I'm very excited to see what kind of talents it's going to get. And as long as it gets a stack mechanic, I think it'll be in line with everything else. It's not going to be better than a Riding Hood or a Genie because the, the stack mechanic on those two units are just so easy. And that is the reason why it's it, it, it's do, they're, do, they're both doing so well. Um... I feel like, in in saying, is Corsair dead, or always presenting that question, um, because I, I have seen it in Discord, I got a YouTube comment, and I also saw it in my own uh, clan chat, that, oh, Corsair is dead now, it's useless, I can't believe I wasted all my time, you know, getting all of these, you know, like, Corsair shards, I have a level 13 Corsair, whatever, whatever your argument is, right? In saying that, oh, is this card dead now? It de one, one, it depends on what you define as dead. And two, if you think that dead it means can it beat Genie or Riding Hood, nothing can beat Genie or Riding Hood, everything is dead. And, and that's just how it is right now. 
there are specific like decks that can specifically beat those two decks but if you're saying like does this do more damage than the two best cards that deal damage nothing beats the, the those damages um i'm still seeing post patch post all of this i'm still seeing like 100 billion damage games I'm seeing like 200 billion damage games coming from Riding Hoods, like Mirror Match Riding Hoods, or Riding Hoods versus Genies. Um, I think Corsair is a much more viable card than it was before, um, as its own card, because before you needed the Banshee 15 ability for it to even work. Um, there were some variations of it where you ran like, Corsair and Meteor, so you, that you wouldn't have to care about necessarily about um, getting bedlamed because that would be a big a big thing. Like if you got your second boss was a bedlam and you obviously got bedlamed, um, there was a variation where you just upgrade your entire field evenly, and then you don't when you get bedlamed, it doesn't hurt you as bad. Um, but I think that in this current version, um, I think that you can act actually use it. Um, by itself you can use it as its own damage dealer because of the um, activation mechanic um, the activation mechanic allows you to deal with bosses as long as you're throwing enough bombs um, and dealing damage to the wave the problem is that because it has no stacks there is a level cap on how much damage it can inevitably deal um, when you take like a wind archer and you take its base damage, um, even if you pump it with a knight statue and, you know, witch stacks and dryad stacks and your crit percentage and your equipment, even if you, you pump it to its like maximum level, at a certain point, there's nothing else you can do because it doesn't have an inherent damage stacking mechanic. And that's where your Corsair will fail. Even if you have a level 15 version of this, it's still not going to do infinite damage. And by infinite damage, I mean Riding Hood has the ability to infinitely gain stacks. Genie has the ability to infinitely gain stacks. Um, because it doesn't have a percentage mechanic anymore, um, eventually you are just going to hit a wall and you will not be able to pass that wall. And that wall is going to be different for each player. Um, but I do think that the mechanic of activating the the mana power up to kill bosses specifically to kill bo bosses is a very good change um because now you can just use it on its own and it's fine on its own without like a level 15 banshee um negating boss abilities um as long as you can throw enough bombs um but be but, but with all this being said like i think that meteor is still the same um, I don't think the Meteor change was too big, and I don't think that the Mari change was that big either. Um, the Corsair change is obviously the big one here, which is why they spent a lot of time talking about it. Um, but yeah, um, I, I think that it's fine, um, and I'm actually actively excited about it getting talents, because now it now it's the only legendary uh, DPS unit that doesn't have talents. Um and hopefully, obviously, it has a stacking mechanic. Hopefully, it has something interesting. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments.